All right, for today, we're gonna schedule from scratch using the automated class and teacher scheduler. So all those who got a copy by filling out the user registration form, send to your emails. You can click the direct download link and if you're using Windows, you may, after downloading, you may need to right click the file and unblock. Click properties and then click unblock. Unblock it because it has macros. After opening, you need to use the password that I provided in the email. Another password is used for all the users, uh, which I also provided in the email. So after opening, you need to click the enable macro. And now we can start using it. And for me, I'll be using Mac. This is also one way of checking if this tool runs on Mac. Okay, this is now the home page of our automated class and teacher scheduler. I sent a file that has data already so that you have sample data. So as you can see, there are subjects already and also sections or classes encoded. There's also the data for teachers, sample data for teachers. And we also distributed the subjects already. And we also plotted the schedules to each class or sections. At least for now, you have already sample data. But for today's video, we will be scheduling or timetabling from scratch. Let's begin by clicking the subjects and sections and we're gonna delete all of this i'm just gonna click sort subjects and hit delete in the keyboard so gonna click sort classes and hit delete in the keyboard so let's start by encoding all the subjects in our schools in the philippines our common subject we have english and i recommend putting grade level on the subject code so for example in English you write English 7 for grade 7 English and English 8 for grade 8 English so now we will be scheduling a junior high school timetable so in this column this is just optional this is just the description and it's optional. Also, the next column is also optional. Because we already put the grade level. But here, this is very important. The minutes per period, the meetings per week. So, these are required because it dictates the time allotment per subject. So for English, this is 60 minutes. Now for the number of periods or meetings per week, usually in each uh, learning area or subject, we have four meetings per week. So we put four there. now the number of sections or classes so it depends on the size of your school so for today's video as a demonstration let's just assume that we're scheduling a quite big school for example we have 300 learners per grade level so that's um maybe let's try eight um sections or classes per grade level so 
8 for grade 7, 8 for grade 8, and so on. So, we have 32 classes for the entire school. Now, I'll just drag it down. So, for English 8, just the same. I'll just drag this down, double click on the side. And code the rest of the subjects. Now, this ESP subject is just 2 hours per week. It's education sa pagpapakatao. So, let's change this number of periods and meetings to 2. Now, we have Araling Panlipunan or AP which is good for 3 hours per week. So, we're gonna change 4 to 3. Now, this homeroom guidance program is just one hour per week and all sections will undergo homeroom guidance program. So, we have 8 times 4, 32 sections or classes for the entire school. Now, done encoding all the subjects, we will proceed to encode the sections or classes. I recommend encoding the grade levels along with the name of the class so for example uh, grade 7 and then faith on oh, and grade 7 generosity and grade 7 loyalty and others so we have 8 again 8 classes or sections per grade level so we're gonna continue identifying the names of the sections Okay, we are done in putting the sections. We will proceed to the teacher's information. So, we're gonna click sort teachers just to highlight all the teachers and then hit delete in the keyboard. Now, I'm just gonna encode just random names. Let's just keep some of the information here and we will go directly to the advisory class so here are the list of the classes or sections that we have encoded already so we're just gonna select from the drop down list now these are ancillary or special assignments let's just skip it and we'll go and proceed to the distribution of teaching loads so this is the time that we're going to assign the subjects or the learning areas to be taught by a specific teacher so for example Pascual will be teaching English 7 I'll just copy it and maybe he's teaching four English subjects and Maybe just Filipino 7 to Filipino 7 probably. So that's 4 hours per week per subject. So 6 times 4, 24 hours per week. That's, that's good already. And he's an advisor so he will be teaching homeroom guidance program. So let's just proceed and fill out some random names and continue filling out or distributing their subject loads or classes
okay so we are already done inputting all the class advisors so that Oineza there is not an advisor already so re we remove the homeroom now as you can see here this dashboard above will help us monitor if we already distributed all our subjects or learning areas so for AP 8 we still have available two AP 9 and AP 10 are good already so for Salvador Janela we're gonna assign two AP 8 for her and science 9 because science 9 is still available so 2 ap8 and 5 science 9 for janela salvador she has 26 hours per week so as you can see science 9 is okay already ap8 is okay already we still have remaining science 7 6 subjects not yet distributed and science 8 3 so we'll proceed to the next teacher okay we are done distributing all our learning areas or subjects to all our teachers so as you can see english 7 8 9 10 are okay filipino math mape are all okay based on our dashboard so this is very useful and homeroom are all okay so we already distributed all of them so after distributing all the uh, subjects we will proceed now to the last step and that is to plot the schedule so here we have all the previously um, plotted class schedules I'll just need to delete all of them so that we can start from scratch okay we will begin filling out the plot schedule or timetable let's begin with grade 10 Curie uh, my advice is that when we assign the first period or first class in the morning let's plot the class advisor so for grade 10 Curie that's Miranda Chito and as you click the subjects only the subjects taught by that teacher will appear in the drop down menu so that's one of the feature of our automated class and teacher scheduler so if we go back to teachers information you can check uh, Miranda Chito there um, he's the advisor of grade 10 Curie and he's teaching uh, AP 10 2 AP 10 1 AP 9 and 3 science 10 so so in the subject only those mentioned subjects will appear in the drop down menu so it's easier for you to select the subject so for Monday 7.30 to 8.30 we will try to assign science 10 and I'll just copy this and paste it to the rest of the day so that's 4 days per week so Monday to Thursday science 10 for Chito Miranda for grade 10 Curie so based on our list uh, teacher Miranda is handling 3 science 10 subjects so we can also plot him to the neighboring section grade 10 dalton monday to thursday for 8 30 to 9 30 and also to grade 10 einstein monday to thursday 9 45 to 10 45 so i'll just paste it so that's the three science classes of uh, chito miranda if we go to the teacher class program or schedule 
let's select to the drop down list Miranda so as you can see the three science 10 classes were automatically plotted on the teacher timetable so that's the process I'll just input on the plot schedule sheet and all that we input there will appear on the teacher timetables and also the class timetables or student timetables automatically now we know that he's an advisor so let's assign him to Friday to his advisory class to teach uh, homeroom guidance program now we know that he's also teaching AP 10 so we'll put on 10.45 to 11.45 the same on his advisory class grade 10 Curie the AP 10 that's 3 hours per week so Monday to Wednesday 10.45 to 11.45 and how many AP 10 is that? based on my list he's teaching 3 AP 10 so we might as well put AP10 to Dalton as we go back there get to AP already he got 19 hours per week plotted already so let's continue and plot the remaining subjects for this teacher so he's still vacant at 2 to 5 p.m. 3 periods at in the afternoon so you get 1 AP9 and 1 remaining one AP 10 on my list so let's just fill out uh, the rest of the subjects in the timetable or the plot schedule sheet so I'll just select from the drop down list the list of sections or classes and we're gonna fill this out with all the sections and classes okay so we already encoded all the sections from grade 7 to grade 10 so we'll now proceed to complete the timetable of teacher Chito Miranda we know that he is teaching 1 AP7 so let's just try to copy paste his name and paste it here now if you are copy pasting you might encounter conflict of schedule as you can see Chito Miranda is already teaching at grade 10 Dalton so if you don't want to if you don't want it to happen you can actually use the drop down menu if you're using the drop down menu as you can see there's no Chito Miranda in the list of teachers because that means he has already a class at some other sections so it's safer to use the drop down menu but I also admit that it's easier to use the copy paste feature so I did not disable it so it's up to you to use it now the rest of the video is a bit boring so I might as well skip some of the parts but I will continue recording it because this is really important again our objective in this video is to teach you the skill of manually timetabling I am telling you now that if you have the skill it is faster to finish the timetable and you will have a cleaner and more organized timetables than using more advanced applications that can help you in timetabling so let's develop the skill um, when I encounter some problems along the video I will emphasize it and again the rest of the parts which are repeating or the methods are the same I'll just fast forward it 
Now let me just finish the timetable of our first teacher, Mr. Chito Miranda, before skipping other teachers. So if you notice the names were were the, the famous artists in the Philippines so I just made this I just borrowed the names I don't really memorize who's math teacher so I'll I'll be um, shifting from one sheet to the other from the teachers information to the plot class schedule sheet so as you can see I even missed that Chito Miranda is actually teaching 3 AP 10 that's why when I looked at his timetable, he's just teaching 22 subjects at uh, 22 hours. But actually, his teaching load, as we distribute him, the teaching loads, he's actually having 25 hours per week. So now, he's still vacant at 3 to 4. I will plot his remaining AP 10 that I missed. A while ago in your case in your school I know you are familiar with your teachers you know who's teaching math who's teaching English who's teaching science so it it will be easier for you to plot and distribute the teaching loads so in my case here I'm just making up the names of the teachers I don't really know them so it's harder for me to fill out the timetables so let's go back to the task. I'm finishing the timetable of Mr. Chito Miranda. I'll assign him to his last subject, last AP 10 subject. He's vacant at 3 to 4 p.m. I'll just go back to the plot schedule. Okay, let's give AP10 to grade 10 Einstein. So it's also vacant at 2 to 3, Monday, Tuesday, and 1 to 2, Thursday, Friday. Let's just go back to plot. I'm trying to, to assign... So as you can see, he's vacant at 2 to 3 Monday. Let's grab this schedule here and let's copy paste it to Tuesday. Uh, let's go back to his timetable. As you can see, the 2. Now we're going to use the 10.45 to 11.45 AP10 schedule for Einstein great and Einstein is still very vacant so it's very available so AP is three hours per week so we plotted three let's go back here as you can see AP 10 and now he has already 25 hours per week we are done plotting the timetable of our first teacher Mr. Chito Miranda and as I've said the rest of the video the method if the method is the same I'll skip it and if I encounter some problems I'll pause and emphasize and clearly explain because you might as well encounter it when you are time tab tabling on your own now I am looking at grade 10 Dalton our next section as I've said, I am not familiar with the names of the teachers. I'm searching using the search button, Great and Dalton. So the advisor is Abunda Boy. And his teaching loads, 2 Filipino, 10, and MAPI 10. Now I'll go back to plot. I'll proceed to this section. So our, our objective is to put the advisors on the first period so Dalton the advisor is Abunda boy I'll assign MAPI 10 from Monday to Thursday 7.30 to 8.30 and proceed with the rest of his subjects that 
just like what I did with Teacher Chito Miranda. This video is a bit long already so maybe I'll stop from here. I'll post part 2 of this video timetabling using the automated cast and teacher scheduler from scratch. So see you again in the next video. Bye bye.